What's up guys? Today I bring you episode 89 of the coolest tech of the month, February 2024. So once again, we'll be checking out a whole bunch of hand-picked innovative cool tech gadgets, starting off with an impressive ultra wide screen gaming monitor, a super premium pair of headphones, a powerful mini PC, lots and lots of different gaming accessories, we have GameSir's new controller grip, we have a portable second screen for your laptop, a new handheld console by Anne Burnick, some earbuds and lots lots more. So get comfortable, an epic episode is about to begin and I will try and get through all of these as fast as I can. And as usual, everything you're about to see will be linked in the description box with timestamps so you can jump straight to the product that interests you. So without any further ado, let's begin with the first cool product. So first up, we are looking at an ultra wide curved gaming monitor by AOC Aegon, model number AG493UCX2. The monitor is absolutely massive in size, 49 inch ultra wide screen, comes very well packaged in quite a large box. The stand is made from metal and, and is finished in a rather nice space gray color. The stand is very easy to fit and it just simply clips onto the back of the monitor and secures in place with four screws. And while we're in this position, we may as well check out the ports. You can see we have a power switch and power socket. On the other side, starting off with DisplayPort version 1.4, we have three HDMI ports and they are HDMI version 2.0. We have a USB-C port which supports 65 watt power delivery. We've got a USB upstream port, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, and then you have one USB 3.2 Gen 1 fast charging port finished in yellow. And next to that, you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Inside the box, you will find a user manual, a infrared remote control, a type C to type C cable, a display port cable, HDMI cable. This comes included with two power cables. I've got a UK one and a European one. And this also comes with a adhesive cable clip. So you can keep all your cables nice and neat. The display is absolutely gorgeous. 49 inch ultra wide, 165 hertz refresh, dual quad HD screen resolution of 5120 by 1440. Supports FreeSync Premium Pro. You have one millisecond response time, so super ideal for gaming. And you have built in speakers, that's two times five watt speakers. You can adjust the screen, it can be lifted up and down, or you can even tilt it left and right. The remote control is very handy. You can quickly adjust things like brightness and volume control very easily. And you can play around with all the system menus and settings without fiddling around with the actual monitor controls, which are found on the lower right hand side of the screen. Now the USB-C port can charge your laptop and display out at the same time. So great for productivity when you need that larger display. Now I've got this thing connected to my gaming PC, which I had to put on the floor just for this test. Uh, as the monitor does take up quite a bit of space on your desk. Either way, it looks like I'm going to need a bigger desk. But yes, this is an absolute beast of a monitor. Let's check out some games. Now, of course, the benefit of having an ultra wide display is more screen estate to play with. It means you can have three apps or three web browsers open side by side, which is very useful, especially for people who like multitasking. This monitor is also a great alternative to a dual monitor setup. This will give you the same benefits, but requires only one power supply and will save you some space in the process. So that was the impressive 49 inch ultra wide curved gaming monitor by AOC Aegon. Absolutely amazing monitor. Definitely check this one out, guys. All right, so next up, we are looking at the Edifier Stax Spirit S3 wireless headphones. So these are super premium in quality. They support high-res audio and Snapdragon sound. You can see on this side, it says Stax Spirit. Now, all over the inside, it's printed Stax Spirit. A very premium unboxing experience. Wow. Wow, that looks amazing. So we've got two bags here. They contain air cushions 
Wow, check out the quality of these. Very nice. So you've got two of those. Um, there is a carry case included, and it says Stack Spirit on top. It's a zip-up hard case, which I'm going to open. And you'll be presented with the headphones themselves. So you can see these are foldable and they are extendable. And you can see the extendable part is made from metal at the top and plastic at the bottom. So ear pads are well padded and there's already one applied and they look quite easy to remove. So you're just gonna pull them off like so. And then you'll be able to stick on the alternatives which definitely look better. Let's put them on and just show you the difference on both sides. So the default ones, leather-like material finished in black. And then you've got this fabric finish. It's a very attractive pair of headphones. You've got the Stack Spirit logo on both sides. And the actual logo feels like metal. You've got the Edifier branding as well on both sides. They support Bluetooth 5.2. So these do support high-res audio wireless, Snapdragon sound. You've got APTX HD and APTX adaptive. Now we do have some controls on the headphones themselves. You've got volume rocker, a middle button that could be a power button and you've got an audio jack as well. So these are Bluetooth wireless, but you can use them wired if you prefer to do so. On the other side, you can see a Type-C charging port for the actual headphones. Now these do support multi-point connection, so you can connect to multiple phones at the same time. You have a 1500 milliamp hour battery built in, and that will give you an amazing 80 hour battery life. So Edifier Stack Spirit S3, very comfortable to wear. Sound quality was absolutely amazing. Very loud and proud. Um, it almost sounds like a Bluetooth speaker. It's that loud. Everyone around you is definitely going to hear on the maximum volume what you're listening to. But of course, you can turn that volume right down if you want some personal sound. Uh, really nice, comfortable to wear, great quality sound, uh, decent amount of bass. You've got a massive battery life, 80 hours, foldable and extendable, and it comes with a beautiful carry case. The Edifier Stax Spirit S3. Awesome stuff. All right, next up we have a powerful compact mini PC. This is the Ace PC Powerbox Mini. First of all, we're gonna run through the specs. So this is powered by the AMD Ryzen 7 5700U, which is an octa-core clocked at 4.3 gigahertz. For RAM, we have 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM, a 512 gig M.2 SSD drive, which is upgradable to two terabytes max. This is running Windows 11 Professional, supports triple 4K display output. You've got Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2. Now, quick look at the ports. On the front, we've got a Type-C port, two USB 3 ports, and an audio jack. On top, you've got a power button and you've got a dial, which gives you three modes that you can immediately switch between. So you've got silent mode, auto mode, and performance mode. Now on the back, we've got two more USB 3 ports. We've got a display port, HDMI port, gigabit LAN, and a power socket. Here is a quick look at the bottom of the box, and that is pretty much all your ports. Well, now, one of the benefits of this mini PC is the fact that you can upgrade some of the components yourself. Top just lifts straight off. It's held in magnetically, and it lifts straight off, so you don't even need a screwdriver to access the internals. So here is your 512 gig M.2 SSD. You have a spare slot just above it, so you can add a two terabyte SSD right above it. So at the bottom, you can see your RAM. The configuration is two sticks of RAM, and they are both 16 gigabytes each, giving you 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM. So those are your simple upgrade options for the future. You can even swap out the 512 and add another two terabyte there, two terabyte on top, but then you would have to reinstall Windows if you remove this drive. Now, when you power on the mini PC, you will see a whole bunch of LED lights, which look quite nice. So you've got some outer lights, you've got some lights on top, um, red LED on the front, and more on the other side. Now, we are in performance mode. If you turn the dial, you can see it goes green, and that's on auto mode. And then you've got the first mode, which is the silent mode, and that's represented by blue. But if you need power and you're going to be playing games or whatnot, you do want to leave it on performance mode. Now, just a few things to look at. If we go to system properties, you can see this is indeed running the AMD Ryzen 7 5700U. 5, We've got 32 gigs of RAM, 64-bit operating system, which is Windows 11 Professional. And if I click on activation info, you can see it's activated and ready to use. A good idea to quickly show you the system storage info. Okay, so we've got 512 gigs of internal storage. Um, 475 is actually usable, and from that we have 413 gigs free to use. And you are getting the full Windows 11 experience with Windows App Store included. This is not a condensed version, this is the full version of Windows 11 Professional on a very small form factor.
And just to give you an idea of the performance, here are the Geekbench results. Single core score 1616 and multi core score of 6917. And in the Antutu benchmark test, you can see this mini PC has scored 640K. Okay, and to compare the performance, here is my top performing mini PC chart for 2024, showing you all the latest mini PCs and seeing how they compare with each other. And these mini PCs are ranked by overall Antutu benchmark results. So you can see the Ace PC Powerbox Mini has ranked at position 10 on this chart with a benchmark score of 640K. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure and completely free of charge. So that was the Ace PC Powerbox Mini. Let's see what's next. So next up we have a wireless gaming controller. This is the Flydigi Vader 3 Pro. Now this is a wireless Bluetooth controller, but also comes with a 2.4 gigahertz wireless dongle. Now this controller supports Bluetooth, or you can use the included 2.4 gigahertz wireless dongle. So the controller itself feels quite ergonomic in the hands. Um, you've got the Xbox layout with dual joysticks. These are Hall Effect joysticks, so no worries about stick drift. You've also got Hall Effect triggers for the accuracy and precision. So it is a multi-platform controller, supports Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, Switch, Steam Deck, and so on and so forth. You've got an interesting D-pad, select start, X, Y, B, A buttons, and you've even got two extra buttons there, C and Z, and that comes in handy for Nintendo Switch games. Home and start buttons at the bottom. Pogo pins for charging with special dock accessories, uh, not included. You've got Type-C charging at the top as well. On the back, you've got various macro buttons and customizable buttons that you can um, program yourself. You've got a flick switch in the middle, which allows you to select your connectivity option. So it's currently set to work with USB. Um, if you flick it to the middle switch, that is Bluetooth. And right at the end is your Nintendo Switch. So that is how you can set the connectivity. The controller does feature LED lights. Um, looks really nice and comfortable in the hands. You have an 800 milliamp hour battery built in, which promises up to 40 hours of gameplay. So that was the Flydigi Vader 3 Pro working perfectly fine on my Nintendo Switch OLED. Yeah, not bad for the money. So next up, we're looking at the Ellie Crow laptop screen extender. So in the box, you've got your paperwork. We've got a power supply. USB-C to USB-C cable, HDMI to mini HDMI cable, and a USB-A to USB-C cable. So this is basically a spare monitor on a hinge which connects to your existing laptop or MacBook, giving you dual screen display on the go. The display size is 14 inches. It's 1080p IPS display with 60 hertz refresh. It's simply plug and play. It can be used with a single USB-C connector for power and display out if connected to a Thunderbolt 3 port. It's universal compatibility, works with Windows, Mac, Android, and so on and so forth. Has multiple connectivity on the actual monitor. So you've got mini HDMI, and we've got two USB-C ports and a headphone jack. Over here, you have some controls for volume, menu, and back button. So this has just turned my MacBook Pro into a dual screen computer. Um, it's giving me best of both worlds. I can work and have a browser open at the same time. Um, that is really useful uh, for productivity. So you don't have to hook it up onto your laptop if you don't want to. You can just have this on the side of your desk, a spare 14 inch 1080p monitor. It's a full HD IPS display. And not only that, you could even plug in a game console if you wanted. You've got a mini HDMI to HDMI cable included, plug in your game console or any HDMI source. And this becomes a portable monitor for it. So quite a versatile product. So this is the Crow View monitor extension for your laptop. By Electro. So next up we are checking out a brand new wireless video doorbell. This is the EasyViz DB2. This is a 100% wireless doorbell. It has a built-in 5200 milliamp hour battery but you do have the option to hardwire this and everything you need is included in this package. You also get a chime, an indoor chime. You plug this into the wall and it will give you over 20 different ringtones. So it's quite a loud chime. Nice to see that a chime is included, but not only is this the chime, you can call this the hub or the brain of the unit. You can see there is a micro SD card slot. That is your local storage. So anything that gets recorded on the doorbell will be saved on the chime. There is also an option for cloud storage, but that costs money, that is chargeable. There is a free trial, so you can try it out before you purchase. But all you need to get you started is the local storage. 
uh, the cloud storage is optional. This is a doorbell camera. Every time a person presses the doorbell, it will record what it sees. Every time someone approaches your door without pressing the doorbell, it will still activate motion detection and record what's in front of it. So it's a security camera and a doorbell in one. It can record 2K resolution video with 176 degree wide angle view. You've got PIR motion detection. It can detect humans, it can detect animals, and it can, det and it can also detect packages. Now this does support 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi networks, so five gigahertz is not supported. You've got infrared night vision, so you can see everything in the dark. You will get instant notification alerts to your phone if somebody approaches the door. Now this has two-way audio, so you can actually talk to the person that is in front of your doorbell, and you can talk to them directly through your phone. Now the doorbell is completely weatherproof, so you don't need to worry about water damage. It's also fitted with an anti-tamper alarm. If anyone tries to tamper or steal this doorbell whilst it's on your door, it will trigger an alarm. Now to get this doorbell set up, you're going to need an app called the EasyViz app, and it's available for both Android and iOS. So give you guys a quick demo. I've got it all set up. I've got my phone ready. So first of all, press the doorbell. Every time I press it, then your phone will also start ringing. You answer the phone call and you can see the live feed. You can see the live feed anytime you like. It will give you alerts every time it, it senses motion, like it just did. You can go into library and you'll see the dates at the top, so you can go to a previous day if you wanted, and you can just select any of these events to re-watch them or download them. So that was a very quick look at the new battery-operated wireless video doorbell by EasyViz. This is the DB2. It only takes minutes to set up to connect to your router and start using this straight away. An interesting and very affordable video doorbell. So the next cool product is the Anburnic RG35XXH. So this is the latest Anburnic handheld with a beautiful transparent purple design. Uh, the screen is 3.5 inch fully laminated IPS display with a screen resolution of 640 by 480. Now this is powered by the H700 processor, which is a quad core octet at 1.5 gigahertz. You get one gig of LPDDR4 RAM, you get 64 gig micro SD card pre-installed. In fact, there are two micro SD cards installed. One is a 16 gigabyte card with the software, and then you have a larger capacity 64 gigabyte card pre-installed. Now for controls, you've got dual joysticks, D-pad, select start, X, Y, B, A buttons. On top, you've got four trigger buttons, R1, R2, L1, L2. You've got a headphone jack. You've got a Type-C charging port, mini HDMI, and a Type-C OTG port for data transfer. Over here, you have a button. When you press it, it will take you to the settings. On the side, we've got power button and a reset button. And on the other side, you have a volume rocker and you have your dual speaker grills. Okay, now this emulates over 30 different systems. Um, I'll give you a quick run through. You can see them. I'm just gonna scroll through them very quickly and you can see what you're getting. And if I open one of the categories just to show you, you can see what sort of collection you have there. And it tells you how many games there are per folder at the top left hand corner, as you can see. Now battery life, there is a 3,300 milliamp hour battery. You can actually see the outline of the battery there. Um, it's 3,300 milliamp hours and it will give you eight hours of gaming. Now this also supports display out via mini HDMI and you've got vibration motors as well whilst you're playing. So let me give you a, a very quick gaming test. All right, let's try something else. Let's go to CPS3. So a new affordable handheld by Ann Burnick. This is the RG35XX. Um, beautiful transparent design. Other colors are available. It's definitely not bad for the price. Check this one out, guys. Next, we are looking at the GameSir X2S. Okay, now the first thing that attracted me to this 
was the retro colors. It reminds me of the old school Famicom colors. So definitely a nice attractive design. So this telescopic controller will work with both Android phones and also the new iPhone 15 series. The Type-C connector is flexible. So easy to connect and disconnect your phone without worrying about damaging your phone's USB-C port. And this is a telescopic controller, so it does extend quite far. So it should easily accommodate a phone like the S23 or the S24 Ultra. So just want to show you that it's actually a perfect fit. Now this new version comes with Hall Effect joysticks. So no stick drift, which is definitely good news. Um, you will also notice that the joysticks themselves are quite small in size, although they feel really nice to use. You have Hall Effect analog triggers for better precision accuracy. A nice D-pad to go with it, along with your XYBA layout. Now on the back, you can see rubberized textured hand grips, uh, which do feel quite nice to the touch. Um, great to play your favorite Android games, and it's actually ideal for remote play games. That is what I'm going to be doing most on this one. So I've connected to my PlayStation 5 via remote play, and here we are, gameplay footage. So the enhanced features, the Hall Effect triggers and joysticks make this controller very, very nice for console gaming, especially remote play. The buttons and the joysticks are slightly smaller than what I'm used to. But saying that, the ergonomics is still very good. It fits nicely in the hands and the controller still managed to feel very comfortable. I can certainly see myself using this controller for the long term. So the new GameSir X2S Type-C controller. I'm using it with my S24 Ultra because I love that big screen gaming effect. Battery life is really good on the S24 Ultra, but you could also use this um, on your iPhone 15 series if you want. So it works on both. All right, time to check out some new earbuds. And these are the AirFun Air 2. We have the AirFun logo on the back, Type-C charging port at the bottom, and we have a pairing button right next to it. When you open them up, you will see the earbuds neatly presented. Turn them upside down, they're not going to fall out, so they are held securely. These earbuds support Bluetooth 5.3. They also support high-res audio wireless and LDAC. We've got 10 millimeter composite dynamic drivers in each earbud. We've got four microphones in total, that's two per earbud. You've got IPX7 water resistance. Battery life is nine hours per earbud and a total of 40 hours with a charging case. The case also supports wireless charging, so you can drop it down on a wireless charger. And the earbuds can be connected to two devices at the same time, so you do have multi-point connections. So I've gone away and I tested these out, and I have given these a rating of 53 out of 100. So that means the AirFun Air 2 rank at position 8 on my new earbuds chart of 2024. If you want to see my full explanation on how I achieved that score, head over to chickstech.com and check out the earbuds chart. And my charts don't cost you a penny. It's always free for you guys. I made these charts to help you compare the brands in order to make a decisive decision. For the price, these are actually very good. They're quite impressive. They don't feature in-ear detection and there's no active noise cancellation either. And they are rather on the larger side, but sound quality is surprisingly good for the money and they're very loud too with decent bass to go with it. So yeah, definitely check these out. The Airfun Air 2 people, awesome stuff. All right, so the next product we're looking at is a, another multi-platform controller, and this one looks absolutely incredible. It's the Rainbow 2 Pro by a company called Big Big One. So this is not an unknown brand for me. I've already tried multiple controllers of theirs. I already know that this controller is gonna be great quality. We've got what looks like a charging stand over here. So you would basically drop your controller down on top. It would dock the controller, but also charge it at the same time. Um, yeah, you do need to plug it in though. You've got a Type-C charging port on the back. So this is a multi-platform controller. It's a wireless controller, supports Windows, Android, iOS, Switch, um, Steam Deck, and so on and so forth. It supports Bluetooth, 2.4 gigahertz wireless dongle, or you can use it wired via a Type-C to USB-A cable. Now you can see this transparent design finished in this smoky black color. It definitely looks really nice. On the back, you've got rubberized textured grip, which feels really nice in the hands. You've got the XYBA buttons, start, select, home, a whole bunch of buttons over here, and you've got a headphone jack as well. The joysticks are Alps joysticks, and you've got Hall Effect triggers. In between here, you've got another two buttons 
So these are like trigger buttons that you can uh, customize. And then you've got your Type-C charging port and a pairing button. Now on the back, you've got some macro buttons and you've got some instructions there, which tells you how you can switch between different modes. So let's configure this for Android. You can the home and the B button pressed. And you can see it's lit up in green. You are now ready to use this with either Android, Windows, or even iOS. If you want to use this for Nintendo Switch, just press the home and A button, keep it pressed. And you can see the color goes red. That's going to now work with Nintendo Switch. Now there is a smartphone app available on Android and iOS, and it will help you customize many features of this controller. You can now customize things like lights. So golden age, aqua green, wow, that looks sick. Light Azure, Rose Violet, that's nice. And then you got Hot Pink, really nice. I'm gonna leave it on Aqua Green because that looks nice. You can customize configs and you can create your own macros as well. Feels very nice in the hands. Multi-platform controller with its own charging dock is amazing. So I plugged it in and when you, and when you dock it, you get LED lights at the bottom as well and the controller lights start flashing as well. That is amazing. Check how much technology you get with this controller. Imagine this on your desk. This just looks absolutely amazing. I don't think I can put this back in the box. This is staying on my desk. So I've connected this via Bluetooth to my iPad Pro. I just want to play a bit of Call of Duty on this. I haven't played on my iPad for a while. That looks amazing. iPad Pro, 11 inch model. Incredible controller, Rainbow 2 Pro. The amount of features you get with this controller, the fact that it's multi-platform controller, you've got a dongle, a four-in-one dongle, which will give you that multi-platform connectivity as well. Oh, I forgot to mention, you've also got six axis gyroscope built in, which comes in handy when you're playing your uh, Nintendo Switch games. Absolutely love the charging dock, and I just don't understand how they can give you such an amazing controller for such a low price. So this has to be my favorite controller that I have tested so far this year. All right, check it out. When I saw this one online, I had to get my hands on it. It is another controller, but this one is for the Nintendo Switch. You can use it standalone if you want. So you could just attach the middle part and use it like this, like a Switch Pro controller. Uh, nice design. I like that green. It's like a military green. Okay. So let's actually test it on the Nintendo Switch. So if we just slide it on, yep, slide the right side. Okay, so nothing to configure, it works straight out of the box. And let me just pause it. So you've got some extra buttons that you can configure, nice grippy texture that you can hold on to, uh, nice fat grips that you can hold on to. Much more comfortable than the standard controllers. So definitely feels nicer in the hands, uh, more comfortable for long gaming sessions. These are Hall Effect joysticks, so no worries about stick drift. You've got replaceable metal ring thumbsticks. You've got RGB lighting, as you can see. We've got six axis gyro motion sensing. You've got rumble function and the battery life will last long as well. 6.5 hour battery life uh, for these controllers. So the NYXI Hyperion Switch controller to add a bit of character to your Nintendo Switch. So before we wrap this one up, one more product to look at. This is the Tanjula X5 Pro Android streaming box. Now what's special about this new model is the build quality. Um, it's, um, it's made completely from a metal case with the 5 Pro logo at the bottom. It feels a bit more compact in size as well. Um, you've got an external antenna. If we have a look on the side, you've got micro SD card expansion, USB 3, and on this side, Oh, there is also a reset hole next to the USB 3 port. We've got a USB 2 port on the back, Ethernet, and I believe that is a gigabit LAN, HDMI, SPDIF. We've got power socket, external antenna, nothing on this side, and that brings us back to the front. This comes with two remote controls, so you get your standard infrared remote, and then you get a hybrid Bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz wireless remote control included. It comes with a dongle for the 2.4 gigahertz wireless side of things. Um, shortcuts for Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video and App Store. A very decent remote control included and of course if you're going to use this remote 
you're not going to need to use that one. So you're not going to use both, you're just going to use one or the other, and it's probably going to be better to use this one. S905X4 quad-core chipset with the Mali G31, so better graphics performance as well. 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. This is running Android 11, so the Android version is a little bit out outdated, but it's also running Tanjula TV UI, which is the reason why you would buy this in the first place. So the software gives you access to a world of entertainment, games, and movies that you can watch to your heart content. So you buy the box once and then you can enjoy unlimited entertainment, pay-per-views, movies, etc. with this TV box. So there you have it guys. That concludes episode 89. If you got this far, then please hit the like button and let me know which products were your favorites from the bunch and which one you might be interested in. I'll see you guys again next month with another fresh episode showcasing some of the coolest tech that I set my eyes on. Like, sub and follow if you have not already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.